Welcome to DIY or Die. Today I want to look at three new flavor art flavorings. DIY or Die, Walker Vapor Group LLC, or any of its associates do not condone nor encourage the use of nicotine, vapor products, or any mood altering substances without the explicit consent of a physician. The content viewable on this channel is strictly for entertainment purposes only and not meant to be seen as informational or educational. Must be 21 years or older to view these materials. So Flavor Art just sent me some of their new flavorings. I just received them and um, I want to see what they're about, right? Already I'm impressed. Why? Because they actually are starting to tackle profiles that we want from Flavor Art. And what do I mean by that? Well, there's a lot of Flavor Art flavorings that have been released recently where they seem to tackle more of like a finished profile, more of like a one-shot profile where there's a lot going on uh, within the flavor, you know. But they're going back to the roots, they're tackling profiles that are more building blocks that you can use in your recipes. Now what I'm going to be testing today is Graham Crust, which uh, sounds awesome. Gelato Vaniglia, which I'm assuming means vanilla gelato in Italian, and then New York Cheesecake. The other four, which we'll test, um, we'll test another time, is uh, Donut Glassado Chocolato, which it looks like a chocolate glazed donut. Um, this one is interesting, I'll talk about that one last. Dragon Fruit, and then uh, Creme Baravesi, maybe a Bavarian cream. But this one's also interesting, and I do want to test this one out, but it might not be in a sort of single flavor. I might have to use this in a recipe, but this is Candy Jammy Wizard, and I'm assuming it's meant to sort of help out candies and, and gummy profiles. But nonetheless, we're gonna check these three out here, mix them up by themselves, give them a vape, see what they're like, and then hopefully you will have a better understanding of these new profiles, and hopefully you'll wanna go pick them up if, if they're gonna fit in uh, you know the recipes that you plan on making. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix all three of these up at 2% because they are flavor art, and uh, you know you don't wanna go too high with flavor art. Um, keep them low around one, two, three percent at the highest. Uh, and then kind of work from there. So we're gonna mix these up at 2% by themselves and we're just gonna see what they're like. All right, we're done. Let's try these bad boys out. We're gonna start with the graham crust. Let's see how this bad boy is. It smells a lot like AP, acetylpyrazine. But like I said, there's a little bit of like a vanilla note in there. I'm really not noticing too much anything with the graham crust. I'm not getting much texture. I'm not getting much flavor. Maybe it needs to be increased in percentage or maybe decreased, maybe to like a half a percent. I really don't notice much flavor at all from the graham crust. There's a little bit of like a flaky, flowery flavor to it. Um, but it's not, it doesn't, it, it's not like TFA's graham crust where there's like a definitive uh, bakery note within that ingredient. This one, it's more, it's just really light. Okay, well, we'll move on. That one, I don't know, maybe it needs to sit. Maybe it's just good in, in recipes. Well, we're gonna have to play around a little more with that. My first impression is not much flavor, pretty, pretty light. Next one we're gonna try is the vanilla gelato. Flavor R really does vanilla as well. So I'm expecting this one to be pretty good. Definitely it got like a nice vanilla note in there. So this one is actually really nice. It, there is like that sort of floral vanilla quality to it, but it's not floral, it's, it's just bright. It's like there's like a nice bright vanilla top note to it. But on the end, it's a little thin. Um, it's not as rich and creamy as, you know, like a vanilla bean ice cream would be. It does hit like a, gel a gelato sort of body, like where it's, it's sort of thin. I don't know if thin is the right word, but it's not as rich, you know? I can see this being really useful in a lot of situations where you would normally use vanilla swirl, where you just kind of want like a, a light, bright vanilla. Using this instead would give you a little bit more of a vanilla top note and a, just a little bit more on the body. I think it, it is better than vanilla swirl by TFA. 
it's just a good, it's a good simple flavor, man. Yeah, I can definitely see this being extremely useful in a lot of scenarios and, and um, this is definitely gonna be a popular one for sure. Now, if we're gonna compare this to other flavor art vanillas like Madagascar, it's, there's no like nuttiness, there's no deepness. Um, there, it's just like a nice, simple, almost uh, delicate, but at the same time, there are dairy notes to it. it it's not milky, it's not rich and, and ice cream-like, but it's more of like a fresh whipped cream on the end, um, just doused in like a really nice, sweet, bright vanilla. And then last, we have the New York cheesecake. Now, on the bottle, there's a cheesecake, but there's also strawberry, so I'm, I'm wondering if there is a strawberry note to this. There is. From what I can taste, there is like a, a strawberry flavor in there. Now, there's absolutely no crust to this uh, ingredient. What I really mainly taste is like um, some of like a strawberry just flavor uh, wrapped in sort of like a creamier. This one definitely has more of a dairy note to it, but it's not as thick and it's not as velvety as something like Capella's uh, New York Cheesecake. Um, or, or other cheesecakes like Flavor West cheesecake. It's definitely a lighter cheesecake, but I think for many this will be really good. Now I didn't change the cotton between these flavorings, um, but there is like a nice bright vanilla top note, but it seems a little bit different than the one in the uh, vanilla gelato. This vanilla tastes a little bit more nutty. There's a little bit more of like a extract like vanilla quality to it. More of like a vanilla bean quality to the cheesecake, which is exactly what you want when you're creating like a real authentic cheesecake. And the strawberry is not too vibrant. The strawberry does lay in there quite nicely. It's like a deeper red type of strawberry where it's not like a sweet strawberry or, or even a TFA strawberry. It does taste more like a flavor art strawberry laid on top of this kind of vanilla bean cheesecake body. Absolutely no graham cracker. I'm wondering maybe mix these two up, you know, the graham cracker crust or the graham crust with the with the New York cheesecake, maybe that'll help add that in there. Or add your own sort of base, like TFA cheesecake, you know, get that little graininess in there, or Flavor Arts cookie to kind of supplement where that crust should be. But it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not too in your face. There is like a nice kind of mouthfeel to it, um, and it does pack all the qualities that you want in a cheesecake. If you are looking for like a richer, thicker cheesecake, then this one might not be for you, um, but it does have really nice flavor and I can see adding some sweetener to it just really kind of help lifting up the, that entire profile. Same with the vanilla gelato. Now with the graham crust, that one's probably the only one where I'm a little bit iffy on. Maybe I'm not using it correctly or I'm not using it at the right percentage. I need to mess around with it some more, but it seems to be the lightest of all of them. Uh, you know, I'm really not getting much flavor from it at all. I'm gonna drip, a, drip some again now and see if it's, anything has changed. Yeah, there, there, there's like a light bakery quality to it. I do taste some of the, like an AP note. I don't know if they're using acetylpyrazine in it, but I do sort of taste something similar to that. But that's about it. I'm not getting too much depth. I'm not getting too much texture. I can see it being useful mixing it with the cheesecake. Um, I can see that kind of adding a nice quality to it. But overall, I'm still pretty impressed. The vanilla gelato and the strawberry or the New York cheesecake are pretty damn good and I think a lot of, I think they're gonna be really, really popular. So Flavor Art did a really good job with these and it's just making me more excited to check out some of these other profiles like Crema Bavre, Crema Bavarese, Crema Bavarese, Crema Bavarese, and then uh, Dragon Fruit and then the chocolate, chocolate glazed donut. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and also subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. And don't forget to head over to my website, diyvaping.com, where the full write-up for this video will be, as well as other videos, other podcasts, other recipes, other flavor notes, and more, all about DIY e-liquid mixing. And also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram page where I post tons of DIY-related stuff. Um, and it's at DIYRDiveVaping.com, which you can see right down here in the corner. So I'm going to catch you guys later. Keep mixing. Much love. Peace, peace.